Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Cities Skylines. We're back in Freyvik today where we're down at our International Airport. And let's face it, the International Airport isn't particularly brilliant, is it? We've got small planes, small planes, small planes. You know, we've got plenty of planes coming in and out. Traffic isn't the issue, but actually it's a two-star airport, which isn't particularly fantastic, is it? So today we're going to be looking at expanding the airport, making it look a little bit better, and hopefully dealing with all the garbage that's piled up. Not brilliant. What's happening there? Someone's driving their motorhome out of the airport. <laughs> yeah, that makes perfect sense. Police car, lovely. Everything is brilliant. So, where are we going wrong at the moment? Well, for starters, we only have five gates, which isn't a particularly large amount. If we click on the airport, it's saying that to get to the next level, we need to raise our attractiveness score. Now, the best way of doing that, of course, as we know from previous uh, bits where we've built the airport, is to put hotels around the outside. Now, at this moment in time, we've got a luxury hotel. Lovely. I think I might stick another one down there. Okay, the, we're not in the airport area. <coughs> Please do excuse me. Right, so if we, if we pop us in the airport area, there we go. And now we might be able to shove a luxury hotel there, just opposite the airport. Uh, what else have we got? Airline lounge. That can improve attractiveness. We've already got a couple of lounges down there. Can we can we stick that on there? Yeah, can we can we nope, must be placed on a concourse. You are a concourse. I could stick you there, but that might be a problem. Right, a few more budget hotels. There we go. I'll shove you there and there. Yeah, another couple maybe down here. Where better for a budget hotel than uh, than next to a rubbish place? Yeah. Smashing. There we go. That is... Uh, oh, and they're all different colour. Well, one of them's a different colour as well. Mixes it up a little bit, doesn't it? So, in terms of our power lines that I've just decimated, we'll pop you back in there. Because we don't want you to run out of... Uh, yeah, there we go. All the electricity's coming back now. Oh, good. How attractive are you now? Very attractive, but not quite as attractive as you could be. There are a lot of ugly hotels here. Something uh, that I would like to see, we do have budget airport hotel and luxury airport hotel. There's nothing really in between, is there? You know, it'd be nice to have a few different hotels that you could put down. That would be nice. Right, are we three stars yet? Nearly. Right, we need to shove something else in. What's happening there? What, what's going on here? There's a plane that's spiralling. It's taking off. It's, it's literally just spiralling upwards. I mean, in this wet weather, have we maybe had a tornado I'm not aware of? I would like the uh, the airports to improve a little bit, like, in the sense of... Earlier we had two planes on the runway, I don't know if you saw that, but there you go, look. It, it doesn't look particularly brilliant, does it? Like, planes don't do that. I mean, are we... Oh, we're spiralling upwards again. Yep, we're not flying over the city, we're just going round and round and round. Does that happen on everybody's airports, or is that just my airport that that's happening with? Oh, look, there's another one up here, another one up here. There's just lots of planes that are just sort of... They don't come from anywhere, look. It's... There we go, are you... Uh... Oh, you're on the glide slope. There we go. Nose diving in at quite a hell of a rate there. Yeah, I, I really would like to see the airports actually, you know, look a bit more realistic. I think that would be quite nice. Right, hang on. So we need one more budget hotel, I reckon. So if we stick you... What's that? Oh, that's the lounge. We'll stick another lounge there. Because, you know, we can. How's that looking? Ooh, right, okay. Cargo airport terminal. Now, that's exciting. Cargo aircraft stand. Airport cargo train station. Right, okay. So, we can have bigger planes, that's excellent. Uh, with part, what's all this down here? Elevated metro station, lovely. Large cargo airport road. I wonder what that does. Hmm. It's a bit saucy, isn't it? Airport or airline headquarters building, does that? That goes along the roadside, right, okay. Stick you there. 
In fact, we'll we'll stick a. Oh, we can't. There's a luxury hotel in the way. We'll we'll stick a couple of you. Oh, building already exists. Ah, right. So hang on. Is this for my city airline? Ah, right. Okay. I'd have put that in a better place. I just thought we were uh, we were just messing about. Oh, the level is three out of three. Right. Okay. What's this? Oh, this is is this our airline? It's blue. Can we can we change that airline info? Ah, airline chirp air. Right. Okay. That'll do. Ticket price. Right. Okay. So what logos can we have? We can have palm trees. We can uh, the planes can be different colours. I like that. That's awesome. We're going to keep the planes in the blue. That's not nice. Uh, yeah, chirp air works better, doesn't it? What about the palm trees? Ooh, that's nice. I like the blue and yellow. Policies. Uh, great maintenance. There you go. That's what we'll do. We'll have great maintenance. Hotel discounts and car rentals. Okay, that'll do. Awesome. Attractiveness score is good. But can we have bigger planes? I mean, oh look, there's another one there. Oh, why are you reversing, please? Lord only knows. Right, okay, so. Let's go back into the transport thing, because I want some bigger planes. Uh, right, medium aircraft stand. I don't think at this moment in time we need large aircraft stands. Right, what, what's this? Taxiway. Okay, yeah, I can I can live with that. You're going to get in the way there, aren't you? Right. See how this works. Right, medium planes, come on down. Oh, hang on, there's one there. What are you? So you're a medium plane, you can carry 200 passengers. This is more like it. I mean, that looks a bit like a 787 at the front, doesn't it? But it's clearly not. What are you? Can't a sim air? Right, okay. Are we going then? You know, off we go, disappear. Pushing and starting anytime soon, everybody? No. Oh, there we go. Right, you're off. Lovely. We could really do with some sort of large plane landing, couldn't we? Or medium plane, sorry. Oh, there we go, yeah. Spiral up. What are you? Ooh, what's this? Small passenger plane? Another chirper! It's not chirp air, is it? It's, it's palm tree air. Turn your strobes off, love. You're not on the runway anymore. Do we only have small planes? Is there like a, a sort of thing that you have to do to to improve the planes that you have? Airline info. Policies, yeah. Active flights, 11. I might reinstate the, the bird on the plane, I like that. Yeah, that's good. What I would like to do is get bigger planes though, so if we just pause you for a second. I don't like that taxiway. Get rid of all you, yep. And then we'll have more medium plane stands down here. Why? Because we need to expand. We do need to expand, don't we? Right, you're, you're gonna go there, yeah, lovely. Right, yep, yeah, taxiway. Hmm, you're not going to like that, are you? So what we'll do is we'll build you there and you there. And hopefully the uh, the, the bigger planes... Could we, could we stick you on there? Yeah, we could do. What's this? Ooh, lovely. Oh, tap Portugal. An A330 Neo. Would you say that was a medium plane? I'd say that was a large plane. Transcon, which uh, looks like it has the uh, Continental logo at the back. British Airways A320. Love it. Yeah, I've got a couple of plane mods. Yeah, you see, this is not really okay, is it? You know, big plane, bullying little plane. It, it's not really, you know, we're, we're not doing a synchronised flying at an air show, are we? 
Where are you going? Oh, you're taking off as well. I thought you were landing. Good lord. God, it's like he's thrilled with all these British Airways flights. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll get a nice, nice little screenshot, shall we? Is that going to work? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, that's, uh, yeah, lovely. That'll do. You know, I like a screenshot. Got another chance there. Oh, beautiful stuff. Look at that. It's, uh, yeah, it's lovely stuff. Oh, there's, uh, there's a lot more kind of acrobatics going on in the sky there. Right. Oh, hang on. Uh, yeah, you, you can't actually go anywhere, can you? I've not attached the taxiway. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Now we can go to hangars for maintenance and all sorts of nice, wonderful things. Uh, we can actually have planes parked up here, though. Stick that in. Couple of you. Oh, they're in different liveries as well. I like that. Parked cargo plane. Oh, no, this isn't a cargo airport. Sorry, we'll get rid of you. Uh, what else have we got? Large parked plane. Parked cargo plane. Right, okay. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll park you up. A couple of large planes. Oh, lovely. They look like they're just sat there for maintenance, don't they? In terms of the hotels, I mean, the, the hotel's looking pretty decent. I don't know whether to, like, put some sort of amazing fast tram into town, but we don't really need a fast tram, do we? Because we've got the the, uh, the overground type thing. What have we got in terms of bus lines? Yeah, the airport buses, the white ones. You don't really go down there, do you? So we could put some sort of tram line in from the airport. Right, hang on, where are trams? What's this? Six Lane Road. Oh, right, okay, yeah, I'm with you now. I am with you. Right. Tram. Yep. Nope, that's, that's a little bit far away, isn't it? Where's the bus terminal? There. Right, okay. Can we get the tram line? We can look at that. So the trams can go from here. Okay. The two lane road with tram tracks, right? We'll upgrade that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, right, we can't upgrade you. So the trams are going to have to come from here, right? Or they could go under here. That'll do. Right, hang on. How do we... Uh, can we just have a... Yeah, just a tram track. We don't want any pedestrian access. Or not pedestrian, but car access is the, uh, is the main thing there. Right, fall in road. If we can just... Uh, hang on, you're in the middle, aren't you? We need the, uh, the, the Avenue Boulevard type thing. Six lane road, yeah, don't need you. Fall in road with tram tracks. Lovely. Right. You in there. Nice. Oh, hang on, where, where am I... Am I putting more tram tracks in? No, I'm not. That's fine. Right, okay. How are we going to get you over there? That is a good question. We're going to come out here. Or maybe we're not. Right, there we go. So we're going to come across there. Yep. Yep, yeah, there's a lot of people that have told me to, to do the, uh, get the, the thing that allows the what's it thing. That didn't really make a lot of sense at all, did it? The, um, the thing, the, uh, the, the road mod that basically gets rid of all that, we can't build it here. It's, it's a road mod with a real can-do attitude. Right, we're going to build this all the way down here. In fact, we're going to have to... I'm going to have to do that. But I reckon if we build that down there... Some idiots put a park in the way. Okay, yep, that's not a good thing. If I build you there, so the tram line isn't actually... Okay, yeah, I can, I can see that working.
Okay, yeah, tram tracks and train tracks cannot cross each other. Well, that is sensible. Because we get a lot of traffic around here, so if we can get some sort of fast tram network going... Right, can we go around the back of the park? Yes, we can. Right, hang on. Through town, ideally. But we can't cross the train tracks. So we're going to have to go round the back here. No, I don't like that. It's a bit curvy, isn't it? Yeah, get rid of you. Is there a way we can go over the train line? Now, that would be better, wouldn't it? If we could... If we could... If we could do that. That might be a bit high. Is that too high? No, that is perfect, actually. Bit like Rochdale, isn't it? Right, we'll bring you round the back of there. Oh, there's another flipping park in the way. We, if we build you out of here... Oh, get rid of the snapping. Okay, don't get rid of the snapping. That's fine. We could build it down there, couldn't we? Oh, it's hideous. That's truly ghastly. Right, get rid of you. We're going to come round the side like that. Yeah, you're, you're demolishing quite a lot of city for this complete vanity project of a tram track you're building, Joe. Hmm, yep. Aware, fully aware. What about that? Oh, that is hideous. Man, sure, it fits in with most of the line, doesn't it? Most of the line is absolutely hideous itself, so, you know... And then, we, I, I guess, a tram track flying across farmland is a bit odd. Yeah, I'll, I'll grant you that one. It is a bit strange, isn't it? Now, where's that lovely bus turnaround we've got? Because we have a bus turnaround here somewhere, don't we? Where's the, where's the bus? It's there we go. Oh, look, bus stops there. Right, okay. So if I turn the tram line round... Oh, it's there. Right, okay. Hmm. We could continue further, because let's face it, the buses aren't brilliant around here. I hope this is going to be well used, you know, after all this farce. Get rid of you. Yep. Yep. Build you round here behind the people's houses. Love a good noise complaint. Lovely tram turnaround. No expense spared. Look at that. That is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Uh, we'll upgrade that so that it's just one way. Yeah, I mean, it's a rapid link, which nobody wanted and nobody's going to use, isn't it? But uh, but hey-ho, can we have a tram depot somewhere on here? Because we're going to need one, aren't we? Uh, just near the airport will suffice if you're, uh, if you're in the mood. Tram depot next to our luxury hotel. I couldn't think of anything better there, could you? Right, we don't need the uh, we don't need the lights here. Uh, you can do that in here, can't you? Uh, bu -bu 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 junctions, yeah. We'll just pop a stop on there, and again, stop on there. Keep things moving, people. 
In fact, we will have lights on here because that's where the tram comes out, isn't it? So we'll, we'll have some lights. Yeah, you can uh, yeah, keep it moving, people. If I'd have known that I was going to be putting a tram in today, I'd have uh, downloaded some new trams. Right, I'll stick you in there. Have another one there, just near the park. Near that bus stop. Near that bus stop. I'll have another one here. That that works, doesn't it? Uh, hang on, we need another one there. And then we can we can just turn around there, can't we? That'll do. Back through. We want it to sort of be like a, a bit more express. Yeah, just, you know, keep keep going. There you go. That is our complete vanity project. Oh, we've only got uh, not many trams. Oh, the, the tram interface has updated. What are we having? Should we have some Berlin Flexities? GT8s. There you go. Have a couple of them. I think 12 will be uh, the magic number with that one. Right, where's the, where's the tram depot? There's the tram depot. Look at that. Right, let's uh, let's see how you do. We need trams with little uh, little sections because of these sharp corners, don't we? Well, the tram is doing well so far, sort of. It's a fairly quick way of getting about, isn't it? It doesn't really interrupt with a lot of other stuff. You know, just snaking about, not interfering with any traffic whatsoever. Who well, am I kidding? It's not exactly what you call quick, is it? But never mind, because it's fine. It's electric, which means it's environmentally friendly. Oh, there's another one behind. Maybe 12 is too many. Maybe we don't need 12. Let's have a look on the line details. Uh, yeah, we, we really don't need 12, do we? Should we, uh, should we, should we just... Should we have a look at that? Maybe it's because normally the trams can't actually carry that many people. We'll have six. Six shall do. Twelve is not the magic number, as it turns out. Now, in terms of commercial demand, that has uh, that has all been... Well, what's the word? It's been uh, decimated. Because I've deleted a load of houses, so they're, uh, they're building houses elsewhere. Particularly the ones where I've deleted them and then reinstated them. Uh, what have we got down here? Look, there we go. New houses. Posh, posh, posh. How's it looking? It's not pretty, is it? You've, you've really just kind of decimated a lot of your nice city. Just for a tram line that you don't really need. What on earth is going on here? Oh dear, that is a problem. Well, at least the 2020 Opel Astra's alright. Oh, that truck's just powering through. He does not give a... Uh, he doesn't give a monkeys, does he? Right, there we go. We'll, uh, we'll delete that while we're here. Should we replace it with a crematorium? I think we probably shall. There we go. Get you in there. And then we can probably put some houses around you. Lovely. How's this working? Is everybody... Uh, everybody oh, the motorway is well used. That's good. This inner city motorway is, uh, is looking brilliant. Now, where did I put the... Uh, was it here? No, it wasn't. Where did I put the junction? It was in town, wasn't it? Oh, the chirper balloon's doing his thing. It was somewhere around here. There we go. Not tremendously well used, but never mind. Oh, okay, yeah, look at all that. There's loads of cars underneath. So that's still working really well. It's good to see. Good to see. 
What on earth's going on here? Multiple problems. Dead person waiting for transport. It's a story of this city's life, really, isn't it? Right, how are we looking in terms of trams? Have we got more usage? How many have you got on? Loads of people. A whole three. You're going back to the depot? Oh, is that, a, uh, is that one that I've decided to chop? 45 passengers. Oh, okay. Maybe we can make this work, you know. It might not have been such a disastrous idea after all. I thought you'd be able to go a lot quicker, to be perfectly honest with you, on the tram-only track. It turns out you can go a lot quicker in the middle of a road. What is this witchcraft? Thirty-two. Are you all going to the airport, I wonder? We need more big planes. That is not, not flattering, is it? That corner is hideous. Ah, oh, lo lovely chirper plane. What are you? Another chirper plane? Oh, brilliant. I don't know what this particular aircraft is meant to be, because it looks almost like an A321. But then it's a small plane that can only carry 50 passengers. I love that. I love how the little stairs go up to the aircraft. Ooh, what have we got here? Qatar! Wow! With 219 passengers on board, an A350-1000. Lovely. I wonder where they're all going to come out. In the bus station, maybe? Probably just all out of here. Mm, I don't know. Oh, the A350 is going. A lot of passengers on board. Yeah, it'd be nice. If, oh, Lufthansa as well. It'd be nice if. Um, what are you? Are you A320? Yeah. Airlines Regional, large city jet, CS Airlines. Another Lufthansa. It'd be nice if the planes stayed a little bit longer, you know, so that you've got them all lined up on the stands. It just make the airport look a little bit less, well, completely bare and derelict. Oh, we need more houses, 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 people. Right. Well, down the back of this tram line. We shall place houses. There we go. I've never put houses down here before, and I can't quite fathom why. Maybe there was a really good reason that I mentioned in a previous episode, but that reason has gone. There's water pipes, so I don't see why we can't. Where's the nearest uh, tram stop? Oh, it's there. Now, I don't think occupational foot crossings are going to be a thing, are they? No. Okay. Let's, uh, hmm. Can we, can we have the step lower? Nope. There we go. Nice little underpass from the railway there. Looks perfectly safe, doesn't it? Don't think you'd get me going down there. Flipping heck. But this is a safe city. Right, where's the next tram stop? Next tram stop is there. So we can just put in a bit of a... Ah, lovely. We've got another tram stop somewhere there. Yeah, everyone can access that road. Where do you next stop? Could do with a stop there, really, couldn't we? But I guess you can, uh, you can change for the bus. Okay, one there. Nobody can actually get to it. So we'll, uh, can we, can we stick you in there? Lovely. Now people can. Can they just cross the tram track in any place? That might be better for the workers. Everyone can get to that one. And of course, this one here. Everyone can get to that. So yeah, the, the trams, I hope the trams will pick up. I really do. How many have you got on? Uh, 19. Brilliant. 
it's a work in progress, isn't it? Well, I think that's where we're going to leave it for today. If you've got any brilliant ideas, let's face it, this one wasn't one of my finest, was it? But, I mean, hey-ho, it's got passengers on board. It's not making money, but it takes a few cars off the road. And it means we can use these fantastic Berlin Flexity trams. Yeah, if you've got any brilliant ideas, do of course let me know in the comments section below. I'm always interested to hear. Uh, I might have to look at the Anarchy mod uh, for when we're doing things like this. Uh, yeah, may, it's becoming more and more apparent I might need to do that. So uh, I'll have a look into that for next time. If you've enjoyed the video, please do show your appreciation by clicking the like button. And if you haven't already and you want to keep up with the series, do subscribe so you never miss out on any future City Skylines free vi videos. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.